So this is one of the first um, images that I converted when I started using um, raw therapy full time. And I like how it looks on this screen. Um, I think the colors aren't too bad. It's uh, I actually, ha but the thing is when I sent this to um, print out so I can put it up at work, um, the colors seem a bit muted. So I wanted to try and see if I can get something that's going to look a little better maybe give it a little more punch and see what happens. <clears throat> so I'm going to um, go back to a neutral. As you can see, my blacks aren't perfectly black anymore. She's... Other than that, I didn't mess with, with too much. If you look at the settings over there, I set the black point and a little bit on the highlight compression. That's about it. Um, all the other... Uh, most of the other sliders seem to be in the same place. So... So anyway, uh, what I've what I want to try, what I've learned about recent, you know, and understood much more how it works are the lab curves. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to start off with a just a lightness um, curve. I'm going to put a custom, and um, the key thing that I learned here is that um, you should consider this to be just like graph paper that you learned in um, elementary and middle school. So this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. So what you're telling it is take what's here and translate it to what's here. If you think about it that way, it makes a lot more sense to understand what it is you're doing. So uh, to start off uh, with the blacks, I'm just going to lower this part here. And you see what is black is getting you know, pushed up if you look up here. Uh, it's getting pushed up a bit. Bring this. I'm gonna bring this like about right here. Okay. All right, that's not too bad. Um, now the thing is, this curve is moving everything else. So just for curiosity's sake, I'm gonna try the parametric. Parametric kind of lets me only move the part I'm doing. Yeah. So if we do something like this that seems to give me the same. Let's take a look here versus here. Okay, seems to give me mostly the same effect. Um, let's bring up the lights a bit and the highlight. Uh, the highlight actually, let's lower it a little bit. Let's see. But let's let's bring up the lights oh, a bit too much. And now, <clears throat> um, the other thing I want to take a look at here is chroma chromaticity according to luminance. Um, so let's open that in parametric as well. So um, here's your luminance. So using this as your X, how much more saturated are you going to try and make the image? So what I want to try and do is bring more saturation into the lights. I think I'm okay in the darks, but I actually want to reduce it a little bit because it seemed when I was playing with the light lightness before, it seemed to have over brightened her dress a bit. Maybe bring the darks a little more. So getting almost a classic S curve here. Let's bring the lights up a little more here and here. Um, <clears throat> let's increase the contrast a little bit. Oops, no, that doesn't quite give me what I want. Let's decrease it a little bit actually. Okay. So if I look at when I loaded it versus now, it's a, uh, so if you look, and this is neutral, um, my shadows have ended up a lot darker, oops, my shadows have ended up a lot darker, um, let's see what I can do about that, maybe if I go back to my light curve over here, um, there we go. Um, let's let's see. Let's lighten up the darks a little. And maybe bring the shadows back from being so dark. Okay. So let's compare this. Still brighter. 
question is, is there more? I might want to do chromaticity according to chromaticity. See if I can just bring a bit more into her into her um actually I think I would want to do it that way. I would think I would want to do let's see. I think I would want to um I would want to bring it up here. No, those are the dark darker tones. Okay. So if I bring it up here, kind of bring a bit more into her face. So if I look at here versus here, here, it's hard to tell for sure. Let's go to a hundred percent. I wonder if what I need to do is actually change the white balance a bit. Let's see if that helps at all. This seems a bit better. I'm going to save one off that way and see if that helps at all. Um, actually, I'll put it in the queue. And then, let's see if I get, I also wanted to try this one here. No, maybe, not that one. Uh, This one, yeah, this one here. This one uh, ended up being a little blue, so I'm gonna take out some of the blues here. There we go. That looks a lot better. Put that one on the queue as well. So there you go. That's an example of um, of how with lab space you can kind of change the way that you take a look at the pictures. Thanks for watching.